makes a big difference. Showing up and telling your story, letting people know whether they are your representative or whether they're your senator or whether they're just uh, a legislator who is concerned about public safety and the work that you do, there is nobody who can make the case better than you can to tell your story. It's very important that uh, we get the officers uh, here to be able to talk to the legislators, find out the process of how we get funding, we get officers, and how we get the total overall funding for the Department of Corrections. If they don't hear from the people working in the field, how do they know what's going on in the field? They need to hear from us or they won't acknowledge any of our problems. We've gone through a period of time where things have been pretty tough mm -hmm. in corrections and um, we, we've turned to our, our, our state leadership and, and I feel like we're getting the responses we're looking for. Uh, about 150 staff have shown up today. Corrections officers themselves have showed up today um, to lobby uh, for uh, staffing and staff shortages that are in the prisons. With the DOC staffing levels right now, we're at more than dangerous levels and we need more staff on the ground as officers in uniform. As a corrections officer, my responsibility is to make sure that my coworkers are safe, the public is safe, and offenders are safe. I take that job very seriously and so does everybody in this room. We're a family. At the end of the day, we all want to go home safe. It shouldn't take the death of officers and the maltreatment and abuse of officers for us to do the right thing. Um, but I hope you understand that we are going to do a better job. One of the ways that we can support our correction officers is by increasing uh, their budget so that they are able to uh, have proper staffing levels and that will equate into better safety uh, numbers and situations for our officers. The other uh, priority I have is making sure we do not have private prisons here in Minnesota. Um, it is morally wrong and no one should benefit uh, financially from people being incarcerated. And also just fundamentally, we shouldn't be privatizing core uh, functions of government and corrections is a core function of government. When profits are the number one goal of operating a business, uh, corners get cut, um, and it's easy to cut corners in the correctional system if that's your motivation. Uh, and we've seen the effect of that around the country um, in other states where they've had private prisons. Um, and uh, the fact is they're not safer. They are less safe for the correctional officers as well as for the inmates. It's immoral for anyone to profit from human incarceration, as we've heard. Locking up people for profit has nothing to do with justice, and it has everything to do with making billions of dollars off of human misery. People are not commodities, and it's, I think, ill-advised, it's, it's immoral to profit off of people who are incarcerated.